and I just thought it might be entertaining and put you under a bit of pressure, <coughs> if you gave the gentle listeners uh, an elevator pitch yeah. of your manifesto, <laughs> if you become the Mayor of Greater Manchester, and, and the, the elevator pitch is the idea that you and I get in a lift, yeah, yeah. You say, oh, hi, I'm Nick Buckley. I'm running for the Greater Mayor of Manchester. And I say, oh, what very, are you gonna do? very pleased to mm -hmm. meet you, uh, Nick. We've got five floors. <laughs> We've got five floors. What are you going to do for Greater Manchester? The first thing is I'll press the buttons under five so we stop at every floor. <laughs> to give <laughs> to me give a few minutes time. time. To give me a few more minutes. Yeah, I did that. I <laughs> like that. So we're now stopping at every floor. Um, my pitch would be three points. I'm going to fix the police. The police are out of control throughout the country, failing, incompetent. But in Greater Manchester Police, the mayor is also the police crime commissioner. So I am in charge of the chief constable. I'll be writing strategies for the police. If he doesn't like it, he'll be sacked. I'll get a new chief constable and get one with the same vision I've got. But chief constable at the moment is doing okay, so I think he'll be on board with that. Go back to basics. I want to hammer criminals. I want police waking up every day going, today's the day I get to hammer more criminals. I don't have to fill forms in, I'm not box ticking, I don't have to watch my pronouns, I'm not knocking on people's door going, you said dirty words on Facebook, don't do that again. Mm. So we're going to get back to the old way of doing things, which is hammering criminals every day. Um, my next point is civil service. We're in a mess because of incompetence and waste at the civil service level. So councils, probation, NHS, anything that's tax funded doesn't work to the level it should be. Why doesn't it work? Sometimes it's government policy, um, and I can't attack the civil service on government policy. It's not their fault. That policy's come down. It's the enacting of those policies in a competent manner that I'll be challenging. So if we have a top civil servant who buys a new computer system, that doesn't work. Well, that's incompetence. Mm. I'll be naming and shaming that top civil servant to the press, saying this is the person who's wasting our money. Someone else in the NHS spends £100,000 on rainbow badges. I'll be naming that person, unless it was instructed by a politician, I'll be naming and shaming them. I want to give top civil servants skin in the game. I want them to be sat at meetings going, does all this work? Does this project work? Because I don't want that crazy mayor of ours naming me to the Manchester News and the BBC, using my name as an example of incompetence. Go back to your departments and check everything. That's what I want you to do because I'm not willing to be embarrassed across the nation. That'll be a success because that's what most business people do mm -hmm. is double check, triple check, hold people accountable. And my third point will be about driving. The motorist at the moment has got such a poor deal across the country and I want Greater Manchester to book the trend. I'm cancelling the CAS, but it's been cancelled anyway, but that, that store will be cancelled. Cameras are coming down. I'll be saying no to any ULEs, to low traffic neighbourhoods, to 15 minute cities, to pay per mile, to congestion charges, having none of it. And to make sure we have none of it, I'll be appointing a motoring czar who will have access to all policies, all ideas, all minutes of all meetings throughout Greater Manchester. And that person will be an early warning siren to say, look what's coming down the path here, look what they're trying to sneak in. And the reason why we need that is because the CAS, the clean air zone, was sneaked in. No one knew about it until the signs went up. We should have known about that two, three years down mm. before. Mm. So we could have sounded the bells. That's what my motoring czar is going to do. I want to make sure that motorists have a fair deal in Greater Manchester because they're paying far too much to drive. And we keep hammering all the time for more money. And, and I want to keep my car and I'll make sure you keep your card as well. Fantastic. Well, we're on floor 26 now, <laughs> Nick, but it was worth it. Right, thank I'll you. I'll vote for you. Thank <laughs> you very much. If you like that video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and comment. And if you like what I'm saying about running for Mayor of Greater Manchester, then stick around, tell your family, tell your friends. It's the only way I'm going to have a chance of winning is a grassroots movement. So be part of that movement and hit that bell. Thanks.